It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Way yet. Way yet. Way yet. Way yet. Now there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Hello, YouTube. This is Birdman316, and today we will be reviewing the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Just kidding, just kidding. Now back to the normal video. Birdman316, sayonara! Here we go. We get ready to take off here. There we go, we are airborne. We're flying the Hubson H107C. We're in the front yard. There's my little truck. There's a bunch of jello in here. But I mean, this bird only costed $17 ships, so we can't really be complaining too much about that. But here we go. We are easing across the street now. The camera angle is pointed downward, so I have to get her up there in the air pretty good to get a aerial view, if you will. I slowed the yaw down as much as I could. It's at the lowest point, and it still kind of goes pretty fast on the yaw. I wanted to slow the yaw down so that I can get a more smoother turnaround, so to speak. I still le I left a lot of the pitch and a lot of the roll in speed number one. We're in speed number one now. You'll notice in a few minutes there's a dropout, and I just about she just about drops. But she catches on. Well, I'll show you in a minute. It'll it'll come along pretty quickly. But thank goodness nothing happened over the street as far as... There you go. It was just a little bit of a dropout right there. Just a little bit. Don't fly in the bush there. Get away. Get away! Arr! There we go. Right away from the bush now. So that yaw is still a little bit fast for me for filming. But for sport flying, you want a pretty fast yaw so you can do a whip around turn, you know, whip around quick funnel turn and braking turn and all that stuff. But for filming, you don't want really fast yaw unless you're racing or something. I mean, the, the colors look pretty good on here. I mean, like I said, it's a $17 quad. That's with shipping everything on from Vipon. You can't really complain too much. I mean, it's just decent. It's nice. We're just kind of easing around the field here. Spin around to the right. And there I am. Standing beside my little truck. Let's say... <laughs> I was going to do a slow pan around, but that didn't quite happen. Oh well. There we go. That's another dropout. There it goes. Hit the ground. Let me pause this and we will be back with part two in just a minute here. Here we go. This is part two. Part two of the same day. That's after I went over there and retrieved the bird. She landed in the grass. Nothing was hurt. So we're kind of hanging out over here in the yard because I'm thinking it might be some range issues with this one but I'm not really sure I'm just checking it out and make sure everything's okay I recalibrated the gyros and everything and flying over there towards the dumpster a little bit staying kind of low but in a little while we do ease across the street there and fly a little more but you'll see what happens when the LVC comes on it's very it's uh, kind of uh, concerning to me but I guess if you time your flights, everything's going to be good. You can land it before the LVC even comes on. That way you don't have to worry about anything. This bird is very heavy for a camera bird and subject to VRS, Vortex Ring State, pretty bad. So the minute you see that, you got to throw that thing full pitch forward or any angle to get out of the Vortex Ring State. You can see my ugly mug. Sometimes. We're kind of chilling in the front yard, guys. There's my pit table, my mini pit table, my peak table. 
going up a little bit. Now check this out. Ooh, that's close. That's close. Ooh, just about got that wire there. Wow. Great Scott. Vortex Ring State had to save it. Save it! Okay. I'm being silly. Well, tomorrow's April Fool's Day anyway, so hey, I'm getting her started early. Now we're easing across the street here. I attempt to do a, well, so-called high-speed run, but we're still in speed number one for filming. But you'll see what happens when uh, <laughs> the flight's over. You'll see. But we're in the field, and like I said, the camera is angled downward, so you're going to see a lot of the ground. There we go. No LVC warning. When the LVC comes on, it's on the ground, so that's that.